What is up guys, it's your boy Goose Attack here today with a brand new video. But I'm going to be hitting up part 2 of the Lost Thunder opening. We're doing a booster box today. Well, a piece of a booster box, one of four. I'm going to be opening up 9 packs of Lost Thunder. Going for that Lost Marsh hunt. I mean, I want to basically build this bad boy up for events and stuff like that. So we're going to be looking for Jump Pluff mainly, uh, some Reverse Hollow Natus would be cool, Reverse Hollow, you know, Skip Plumes, all that kind of cool stuff. Just to make my deck sicker, I like to make it more flashy. So I will be adding those Professor Elms to the, the pile too, and if I ever do events, I always bring my full arts. I put them in those normal black, uh, I use the Shining Legends, ones. I always like the black, but look, I put them in there. I find them, they're okay. I mean, it's not like uh, I will be... Might PSA one or two of them, but I do like to show them off. I mean, that's the whole point of cracking up boxes, right? Is to have the cards in your deck, not to just all sit all the time. So, starting with a Slacoon. Faba. Sinister. I'm going to fix the lighting on this. There we go. A lot better. Sister. Yamask. Skidoo. She can't see. Snubble. Ralts. Alolan Persian is a reverse hollow. It's so hard to see dark reverse hollows. I don't know what it is. I mean, compared to most of them, like grass or fairy, like have a lot of punch in color, but dark is just like you really gotta move the card around. Almost almost had to guess that one. I wasn't sure. I just felt like it was the reverse hollow because it is a rare. And the rare of this pack is a toucan. Non hollow. Okay. Onto a Zara Aura pack. So so far we did pretty good in my first opening, my first uh, nine packs. Ended up getting a trainer card. Which is considered a wild card in a, in a booster box, so it doesn't count as one of the four GXs I should be pulling. I did pull a full art, which was a shuckle, but it's been uh, known that you can get up to two full arts in a box. I mean, it's not regular, but I mean, we still have a lot of the GXs to pull, and uh, hopefully another full art. Or even I would love to get a Rainbow Rare Blacephalon or a Lola Ninetales. Flaffy. We've gotten already one Reverse Hollow Jump Bluff. I am really, really hoping for one, one Hollow Jump Bluff. I would really like that. Get the Slowpoke, get that to my Slowpoke, love Larvitar. Flaffy is the Reverse Solo, which is just an uncommon. And the rare of this pack, which was a white color, is uh, the Alga Holo. So I have a couple of these guys. One of the uh, not better Holos to pull, but it's okay. It's still the Alga. Okay. Ooh, ooh, I was about to pull out from the left side of the box. Here's a Blessephalon pack. There's still a lot of GXs to hit out of this box, so looking forward to that. Ooh, starting with a hop up to the top, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Starting with a Mantine. Wait and see hammer, which this card is really hard to use. I've seen it's been used on me very annoyingly because you can only use this card on your first or second turn, so kind of a waste of uh, a card to my opinion. I mean you gotta might as well just go play the lottery. Hop it. This is a good hop it. Picky pipe. Slugma. Macargo in this set is really good. Popip Leo. Let Leo. Scyther, which is the reverse hollow, which is just a common. But a I find Scyther always has this nice artwork. I don't know what it is, but somebody at Pokemon Company really likes Scyther because they take their time making Scyther's artwork. And the rare is a Pride Roar, which is another great looking card. I wish it was hollow. It would actually look really nice hollow, this card. I mean, I can't wait to see the day they bring back the uh, the swirls and the stars and hollows, man. That's going to be gorgeous. I mean, those cards with that big pungent hollow. Like, I mean, you can weigh the pack. I don't know if they're doing it because it's the weighing, because you can weigh the packs regardless if you do light hollows or not. So, I don't know why they wouldn't just do the pungent hollows, fatten up the green color cold cards, and, you know, make it like we wanted it. Netball, another great card to add to the Lost Marsh deck. Cilion, Trico, Chansey, Pachirisu, Papit Lou, Spinarak, Reverse Hollow is a, j uh, a Jigglypuff, which is just a common, and the rare of this pack is a Steelex. It's a good looking artwork too, we like to see this in hollow form. I did like Steelex, and when Generation 2 came out, I was a big fan of Steelex. Love them to be honest. I like because I already liked Onyx, and to see something like evolve from Onyx was just badass. So it was a great Pokemon. Used to have him inside my uh, I think it was gold Pokemon Gold 
You guys will look at that line. I don't know if you guys can see that. That weird line. I think I was just a pop leap, yo, because that looks permanent almost. I don't know what happened there. Okay. Ooh, Tron Beacon. Another great card to add to Lost March deck. Ninjask. Fairy Charm. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain Tron Beak right here. Why he's so good on Lost March. Basically, this card, without evolving him, you can use this ability. Once during your turn, before you attack, if this Pokemon is in your hand, you may reveal it. If you do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck and put the Pokemon in the Lost Zone. If the card is Supporter card, you may put this uh, put the Lost Zone. If your opponent has no card in their deck, you can't use this ability. But you can still put Tron Beak in the Lost Zone. If you, even if you don't use the ability, which gives that 20 plus on the Lost March attack. So... This is a great card. I mean, you run four of those inside your uh, inside your Lost March deck, and you try to pick them up with great balls if you're not drawing them, and it just makes like an amazing, an amazing combo. Houndor, Cutie Fly, Chinchou. Ooh, Celebi. This is our second Prism Star out of the box. This is a great pull. Got a Prism Star Celebi. I do like this one. Heal twenty damage. Ooh, really hard to read this. Heal 20 damage from this Pokemon, and it does 20. I mean, not very usable. Unless devolve any number of your bench Pokemon as many... Ugh. Devolve as many number of your bench Pokemon as many times as you like. Put each evolution card removed in this way in your hand. That's a bit of a weird ability. Or attack. Okay, and the rare is a Smurgle. So not too much of a fan of that Celebi. I never really read it before. It's not my first time pulling it, but... I mean, I never took the time to read it, but I guess... That's why, because it's not worth reading. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I think we got four packs left. Yeah, four packs left with this one. So, we're hitting up that end marker. This is the halfway point. Getting a lot of green color code cards today, which is normal. I mean, we did a very good day yesterday. Okay, starting with an Electabuzz. Spell Tag. Cascoon. Litwick. Chikorita, I get that to my Generation 2 collection. I do like the artwork of this Chikorita. It looks old school. Now to another great card to add to the Lost March deck. Houndor. Alolan Dig. Reverse Hollow of a Fanfy. I mean, we're not hitting too many Reverse Hollows as I wanted. Like, as Jump Pluffs and Skip Plumes, Hop Pips, Natus. So, I mean, it is luck of the draw. And the rare is a Beauty Fly. Non Hollow. It's a good card. If your opponent Pokemon is knocked out by damage from this attack, prevent all effects attack, including damage doing to this Pokemon on your opponent's next turn. That's pretty good. I mean, it does hit low, so not the greatest. Okay. Three packs left, guys. Onto another but less Cephalon pack. Ooh, some, I don't know what it is. Some of these packs open up so nicely, and some of them just, like, fight me a whole way through. Ooh, white color cold card, guys. Here we go. Get it on. Ooh, starting with a skip plume too. So hopefully there's a jump bluff at the end of this pack. Super happy about the skip plume. Groiver. Brony. Tangela. Alolan Volpex. Snablu. Meanwhile. Cynical. I get that to my generation two Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Do like his artwork here. Ooh, reverse all is a blessy, which is a, a, a rare, which you can also get in hollow form in this set. Which I think I did get yesterday one. Yeah, I think it was my first pack. I ended up getting a Blessy Hollow. And a rare at this pack. Ooh, it seems to be GX. Yeah, Zara Aura GX. Nice. This is one of the better GXs to pull out of this set. This card goes amazing with Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team. There's a lot of great... I still see this card used heavy today. It's got that amazing Plasma Fist. This Pokemon can't attack you your next turn. But does 160 damage in each of your Pokemon that has electric energy attached to it. Has no retreat cost. So, I mean, working this with Pikachu, running back and forth is amazing. And that full voltage GS. Attach five basic energy cards from your discard pile to the Pokemon in any way you like. So, that's not bad. But that, like, Thunderclap zone is just an amazing card. So, there we guys go. Ended up getting a GX out of this opening. Not so bad. So, so far, it was one GX, one Hall, one Prism Star. I'll be revising the GX again in this video. See the condition it's in. That's a great card to pull. Super happy about this box already. I mean, already the first, I mean, you get odds of getting bad GXs out of this set. Not bad ones, but just ones like not playable or like that McCargo or, I mean, I do like Lugia, but it's not a very playable card. This, this, but then you get the good ones like Zara Aura and Nine Tails, you know? So it looks so far it's doing a better, better box than not. Faba, Rumple, Marini, 
your mask, Stunfisk, Larvitar, Crestion is the Reverse Hollow, which is just, a, it's not uncommon actually, which I got that trippy artwork, and the rare of this pack is a Waba Fed, it's really pretty cool, okay guys, on to the last pack of part two of this video, getting up that Lugia, see if Lugia's got the good goods for us, I would love to pull a rainbow rare out of this, <laughs> I know it's asking for a lot because so far out of this side of the box, we hit one GX, a full art GX, and a trainer. So, looking good. I mean, the right side did very well. I mean, the left side should have ourselves three GXs. And, oh, it's a white color cool card, guys. So, hopefully we can end this off with a jump off. I'd be super happy to get a jump off hollow. We shall see. We've got a bay leaf. The DNA, which you can get in uh, GX form now in the new Unbroken Bonds. Adventure bag. Mareeps. Rumple, Jigglypuff Puff, and a Lolan Meowth, Chinchu, Reverse Hollow is a Slugma, and the rare of this pack looks to be a Hollow. Oh no, it seems to be a Char, and it's an Alolan Ninetales GX, guys. So this is the top two best ones to pull out of Bless Ephelon and Ninetales. So what an amazing pull. This box has been just super epic so far with the pulls. I mean, both GXs are ones that I really, really wanted to add to my collection. Get that mysterious guidance. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for up to two item cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. The shuffle your deck. That's a, just an amazing ability. And then you got that snowy wind for two. This attack does sturdy damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. This that's just hardcore. I mean, you could knock out like stage one Pokemon very easily, hitting for thirty so much. Then you got that Simulation GX. If your opponent's attack Pokemon is an Ultra Beast, it is knocked out. So, I mean, if you got like a, like for example, a Buzzle Wall GX on your, about the, you know, you just put it to the, you know, you just got to, you just get knocked out. It's just it. It's, a, it's gone. So, I mean, even, you know, it's pretty soon there's going to probably be like Tag Team Ultra Beasts. So, just this card will still be probably like the amazing card to have in your deck. So, let's check the condition of this. Super happy about that. I do have this in full art form. So, I almost have a playset now. I'm missing two of them, and the condition looks just gorgeous. I mean, this whole Lost Thunder box has just been great, great cut and position cards. Nothing wrong with them physically, so just super happy about that. So that's just, so, so that's very good opening, guys. I ended up getting two GXs out of this opening. I think one Hollow. I don't remember where I put the Hollow. We got a couple of Reverse Hollows. We got this Zora Aura GX too, which like I like the Lost Nine Tails is in great, great condition. Super happy about this box, guys. Super happy that I picked it because I picked out of like a bunch of I think it was out of five boxes I picked the one that was most damaged on the uh, plastic so super happy that it ended up having great pulls inside guys and that's it so I'll see you guys tomorrow for another part three of this opening Goose Attack is out.